Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Build a House and our construction ground for our huge reptile house. Let's first have a look what we've done in the last episode where we've built a huge indoor habitat for the American alligators. I have to say I'm quite happy about how it turned out. It's slightly bigger than I thought it might be, but uh, yeah, that's also to our advantage because uh, yeah, because of the uh, traversable area and the hitboxes of the animals, which are very big for the crocodilians, uh, especially for the big ones that we do have in the game, so the American alligators, the Gary uh, and the saltwater crocodile but uh, our American alligators are quite happy in here they have enough space they can swim they can't dive it's not deep enough for them to dive I think but uh, they have everything that they need and so we might have some little alligators in one of our future episodes in here so, what are we going to, uh, to do today? Well, um, surprise, surprise, we are going to build a habitat for some reptiles. <laughs> yeah, we're continuing our way around the house, um, going backwards in the clock circle. So that means we are going to build right here, which you can see right now. And we are going to have an indoor habitat for some monitors. Um, I was looking at the Zoopedia, um, deciding on which monitors we are going to have in here. And uh, usually, or uh, not usually, originally, I didn't want to have another water basin in there. So uh, I was looking for some monitors that would not need water to swim in there. So we do have the Nile monitors and we do have the Asian water monitors. And we also do have the Komodo dragon. The Komodo dragon is the only one that doesn't need water to swim in there, but needs yeah, quite some uh, some more space than the actual other monitors that we do have in the game. So um, yeah, I decided, damn it, or I thought, damn it, we need a pool in there. So I was going with the Asian water monitors because uh, I thought they are a little bit prettier than the Nile monitors because they are a newer animal model that we do have in the game. The Nile monitors are from the base game, I think. Yeah, they are from the base game. So I thought let's uh, give the Nile monitors a little bit of a rest and use or build something for the Asian water monitors. So that is what is going to happen today. Um, the outside of the habitat is nothing very exciting because all I'm doing is copying the stuff around from the habitat on the other side for our giant tortoises that we do have here. Uh, as we are building a reptile house everything has to be quite similar, just the indoor enclosures for the animals have to be slightly different or not, not just slightly different but uh, have to be really different. Um, I have to admit that I once again had a little bit of a hard time with the roof which you are going to see in a few minutes. Um, I didn't want, as I said in the last few episodes, I didn't want to build the roof uh, at the very last because it is, uh, most of the times it is very frustrating if you have something finished and you just have to put the roof on it, especially when you have such a massive building that we are going to have right here. So I decided uh, let's put a little bit of the frustration into every single episode so that we do have quite a lot of it and uh, yeah, that's what it is. We are going to have quite a lot of frustration because we have different problems uh, every episode. Uh, in the last episode the problem was the round-shaped part of uh, the habitat. 
in this episode we do have the problem that we can't just copy around the uh, the roof from the tortoises because this habitat is yeah slightly different shaped uh, you can already see it we do have a straight part of the habitat and we also do have the curved path uh, part so um, yeah so I was going to use the roof from the tortoises made it a slightly smaller um, so that I can put it right in here so that it would actually match and uh, then I didn't know what I wanted to do with the side uh, that is still open but in the end I decided we're going with some uh, concrete pieces and just having it uh, be a little bit of a concrete roof on that side which was the easiest way to fix the problem um, yeah here on uh, this part of the exhibit we are going to have the pool for the animals uh, I thought it might be possible to have a little bit of an underwater viewing uh, in here going on but uh, yeah in the end it was not possible but I don't think it is a big deal for the monitors at all so uh, yeah we're just going with the yeah with the windows going a little bit down along the staircase here which also gives the whole habitat a quite different look than all of the other habitats that we do have in here so far. Yeah, maybe you can hear it a little. Um, I uh, do have once again some uh, little health problems. Um, I have some kind of a sore throat right now. Uh, which just won't go away and I just feel that it's getting worse by the minute and um, Yeah, I hope this will be over pretty soon. The summer here in Germany is pretty shitty uh, To be completely honest with you guys um, I told you I've been to the Netherlands on holiday uh, uh, for vacation um, Yeah, not Germany, but um, I think I can speak for Europe in general that the summer in most parts of Europe is quite shitty because we do have so much rain and uh, the temperatures are uh, going up to over 30 degrees on some days degrees centigrade I have to say not Fahrenheit um, and on the other day it's going down to 16 once again or even lower in the morning especially when you do have about 12 degrees or something like that so you don't know what to wear uh, should you put on a pullover or sweatshirt or should you wear a t-shirt would that be enough and yeah it's, it's quite frustrating to be completely honest and uh, so it is no wonder that the people are getting sick by the minute and uh, cold uh, covid is coming back sometimes for some people um, yeah it's just frustrating not really summertime here in most of the european parts i think um, yeah i would be interested for you guys to tell me in the comments uh, where you live what is summer for you this year what is it uh, what is like do you have better weather especially when you are outside of Europe uh, I would be quite interested if, if, uh, if it is like this all around the world or is it just here in Europe or especially in Germany so yeah I would be glad if you guys tell me about that and also if the weather is like this where you live what are you doing this summer how do you cope with it do you have any alternatives for uh, what you are doing in the summertime so um, yeah going to have a swim in the lake is not quite possible so maybe you have some yeah alternatives for all of my viewers what you actually could do in the summer when the weather hits that low Okay, but let's get back into the game. 
you can already see we do have the little pool in here I also put down the entrance gate the entrance gate uh, in this case is right next to all of our staff buildings um, so there's not much backstage stuff going on in today's episode we are going to have that once we are working on the backstage stuff here when, um, when we are going to put walls around that and putting in all those uh, yeah backstage stuff things <laughs> okay um, I think in the next episode we are going to take care of our little um, exhibit that I already put in um, on the front of our staff buildings so if you have any suggestions for the animals that you want to see in those exhibits just leave a comment right below and I will have a look at it um, I was thinking about keeping it reptilian so that we don't have any insects in there and uh, no amphibians so no frogs or uh, uh, or newts or something like that but you can tell me in the comments as well what you think about that do you want to see only snakes iguanas or uh, lizards in there or we also do have the diamondback turtle or something like that oh we do also have the uh, Greek uh, the Greek one so we could have a tortoise in there as well so uh, yeah just let me know in the comment section which animals you want to see in those exhibits I think we're not just going to take care of those exhibits uh, I also want to build something for the Komodo dragon in the next episode as well which I'm very excited for because I don't build that much for them I think the last time I built a Komodo dragon habitat was for Swamp Lake Zoo yeah and I think it was also the only time ever I built something for the Komodo dragon in Planet Zoo at least uh, for YouTube so I'm very excited for that Yeah, here you can see I'm taking care of the indoor and uh, for this indoor habitat I wanted it to look a little bit jungly so we're going to have a lot of those jungle plants in there and I also took a little bit of inspiration of my last DLC series for Kai Pacha where I built for the South American DLC um, with only, I have to say this, with only using all the building materials from the South America DLC and the base game and just for the animals from the South America DLC and I uh, used those um, ruin pieces, those temple pieces that we do have in here and I wanted to have something like this in here as well to give it quite a different vibe than the other habitats that we already do have in our reptile house so um, even though the house itself is looking quite similar I want to make something a little bit different for every indoor enclosure here so that we don't have to see the same stuff all the same time because we do have lots of animals from different areas in here as well so we do have the Asian water monitor in here obviously from Asia we do have the American alligator in there obviously from America especially from North America I don't think they do live in South America as well might be wrong about that but I think they are only resident at uh, North America um, and we do have the giant tortoises I always forget about what kind of tortoises we do have uh, was it the Galapagos one or was it the Aldebaro one but I think they are more uh, more closely located to Africa so we do have 
different animals from different continents and different countries so I wanted to make those habitats also look a little bit different from time to time. Um, they are also very different uh, shaped. Um, I'm looking very much forward to the centerpiece habitats. Uh, these are going to be great. Um, I wanted to have something like a rope bridge in the middle of that uh, where our visitors can walk inside um, just don't know how I could manage this but I'm yeah I'm willing to try that yeah but let's get back into the Asian water monitors um, I took a look at it and I noticed that we don't have any windows in there which is a little bit diff uh, difficult because um, we do have um, lots of decoration going on on the backside with those fake trees, uh, fake rock trees that we do have in here. So I couldn't do it just as we did for the tortoises because, uh, yeah, the walls were already a little bit occupied and I didn't want to have those uh, tree trunks stand right in front of the windows. That uh, would have looked a little bit awkward, so I didn't want to have that. So I just, um, yeah, I just got along with this little, win uh, little window in here so that we do have enough light in here that the whole habitat isn't going to be too dark. Yeah, and now we can move on with the planting. Um, I was not too fond of the jungle plants that we do have in the game, but since I had to go with that for the South America DLC zoo, um, I yeah I managed to get a little bit more familiar and a little bit more uh, comfortable with those plants, and now I really do like them. Um, there's still some favorite plants in there which I use so many times and which I'm very happy about that we do have them in the game from the Oceania DLC. I just love those plants and I'm so 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 sad and at the same time very glad that these are part of the DLC and not of the base game. So if you don't have the Oceania DLC, you don't have those plants. Um, for my DLC series, it is quite a little bit uh, yeah, sad and glad as well, because I can't use those plants, even though if I want to, especially for the South America Park, um, I couldn't use them. So I'm very excited when it gets to the part where I'm going to build for the Oceania pack. Uh, because I really love, 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 love those plants. Especially the fern, tree, uh, fern trees. They are just amazing. Yeah, this one. It's the silver fern, I think. Yeah. Yeah, going a little bit heavy on the plants, um, <clears throat> which is also causing a little bit of a problem. Because um, in the beginning I didn't have the animal welfare, uh, welfare deselected, because I thought we are going to manage that all of the habitats are quite big enough for the animals so that they will be happy in there. Um, it would have been the case for this habitat if we didn't have that much planting in here. But uh, those many plants in there and the pool made the traversable area quite a little bit smaller for the animals. Uh, they were still in the yellow, but yeah, not in the green anymore, so I decided to deselect the animal welfare for this build here. Uh, because when the animals are going to have babies, it would go south and it would be in the red, and I, I don't want to have that. So, yeah, that's why I decided to deselect animal welfare for this build, even though I didn't want to. Yeah, 
just giving it a little bit of a used look with those decal pieces and stuff and the dirt pieces as well and we are almost finished just having our seating area here as well on that side and making it usable by putting a real benches under there or at least one real bench so that our visitors actually could sit there as well and have a look at the animals Yeah, it looks a little bit tight, but yeah, it will be okay. Yeah, so it's time for some animal enrichment in here. And after that, I think we are already good to go, I guess. Yeah, I love that feeder. That is so cool, especially for crocodilians. It, uh, the animation for that is, uh, yeah, insane. I hope that we can see it uh, sometime when our keepers are actually putting some food on that feeder for uh, the alligators. Haven't seen that uh, yet. But I might be showing you guys when uh, the crocodilians are going to feed off of it. some of those dirt pieces on the ground again and then we are good to go we are good for the real-time part but before we get into the real-time part and before you turn off that video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the future episodes on let's build a house especially let's build a reptile house just having some more realism in here. A bit of air condition and yeah, we are good to go and let's go into the real time part for our Asian water monitor habitat. So uh, guys, thanks for watching again. I hope you had fun with today's episode. If you had, as I said before, hit the like button for the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already and can't wait to see you guys next week again when we are going to hit those exhibits and build an exciting habitat for the Komodo dragons. So guys, until then, have fun with the last few minutes and see you next week. Bye.